you say in the book that America is a 70-30 nation, that with 70 percent, roughly 70 percent of Americans supporting a free enterprise system. Now, there's a lot of data in this book, a lot of, uh, 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 it's, it's very empirically rooted. So what is this uh, assertion based on? And if it's true, how do you explain the periods of time uh, when the American people elect leaders who may not share the, the cultural attachment to free enterprise that you say the 70 percent, this large majority share? Well, the data all say on, on everything relating to the free enterprise system that seven in ten Americans strongly favors free enterprise as being central to our economy and central to our culture. So you can ask people, do you prefer free markets? Uh, do you think it's the best system for, for America's econo e economy? You can say, do you believe that we should tax people more or less? Do you believe that, that business, even if you don't trust it, is central to our economy? All types of questions that talk about entrepreneurial activity and talk about free enterprise show that a rough Roughly 70% of the American population strongly favors the free enterprise system. So this is all based on, on very large public opinion polling data uh, from nonpartisan, exclusively from, from nonpartisan sources like the Pew Research Center and Gallup polling. Now, you ask a really interesting question. So if that's true, if we're a 70-30 nation, how come the 30% is in charge? You know, how did, how did people get elected who, who, who aren't very sympathetic to the free enterprise system? And there, there are a couple of answers to that question. The first and is... Befo before you go on, I, I, I think it's fair to point out, you'd say that's not a, it's not a partisan point. It's not a Republican or Democrat uh, point. It, it's, you have uh, um, limited support sometimes for free enterprise across the political spectrum at times, right? Sure. I mean, so it's, so it, we're not just saying the current, this current administration or this Congress because we had evidence of lack of sustained support for free enterprise in previous administrations and previous Congresses too. Correct. Now, that's exactly the answer to why 30% can govern against the will of the 70% majority. The 30 percent has been governing for a long time. They didn't get elected in the 2008 election. On the contrary, it's been a decade since the 30 percent minority that's not very sympathetic effectively to the free enterprise system has been governing our country. If you look back to the Bush administration, for example, you'll see 55,000 spending earmarks, none of which were vetoed because of abusive spending. Uh, the largest single entitlement in American history, which was Medicare Part D, the prescription drug plan, was passed. You see the Department of Education was increased by 50% in real terms. I mean, all of these things go against the will of the 70% majority. People are offended by the idea of the government taking over bigger and bigger chunks of our life and the government spending money in an unaccountable fashion. So it's not as if with the Obama administration, the 30% minority suddenly came in, uh, uh, took over the country and uh, against the will of the 70%. The 30% has been governing for a long time. So that's, that's one reason that it, it, it appears uh, the, the things that we see today are, are happening. The second is that we occasionally have big events that make large parts of the population question whether or not the free enterprise system still is the best way. Usually very, very short windows of questioning. But of course that event was the financial crisis, which was successfully exploited by politicians across the spectrum to convince us that the government was the only solution to fixing the American economy. The, we had bailouts of Detroit and Wall Street, starting with President Bush, and ramped up under President Obama. And th this was a big opening. This was kind of a game changer for people that wanted to take the 30% and expand it into a majority that would make a new culture in America.